You would like to know what you're using again to get rid of this dreadful disease or to prevent the prevention better than cure. Right? Remember, every day when you want to cleanse you know, your hand, if you feel that you get in contact with somebody with any sort of disease, even though it's Ebola, you can then place your hand in some ash. Ashes is easy to combine, and you rub it together like this. And I often wonder why it is to have this dreadful disease. Everything always coming out of Africa. Is it to restrict the people from coming into the other part of the world? Or is it when scientists want to make a new plague or a new disease? They try it and who they believe maybe has the genes of a monkey. So they say, I don't believe that. Or is it that the king of kings is coming very soon? I want to share with you some of the, the things that you can use to bitter the blood. Because for you to get sickness such as chikungunya, hemorrhagic fevers, Ebola. It's because of the blood is too sweet. From the time you get up in the morning, you brush your teeth with a sweet toothpaste. So the sweet glands in the body are more or less privileged to be worn out by different diseases because the body lacks certain phytonutrients like beta carotene, comfort, composite acid. The body lacks citral acid, beta carotene, beta histrine, biotin, phosphorus, zinc, and carotenoid. These are the phytonutrients that the body needs. Aloes is a good source of fighting Ebola. With honey, lime, the skin and the seed, bay leaf, bay leaf, zebra peak and wild sage helps to bitter the blood. So the infection and the disease that cause the body to hemorrhage and not able to produce this mass of destructive chemical into your T cells, which are the most compound cells in the body. For those of you who might be a bit panicked, any part of the world, I want you to use or try my remedy. You clean your hands with ash. How do you get ash? You can use ash from any fruit tree. Burn it and use the ash and put it in hand. It's very good for cleansing or getting rid of germs. You say soap is good. But also you have to look at the lime. I'm not talking about lime, in, but look at the lime. Lime is excellent. Lime is good. Bailey also is very good. It has hemorrhaging in the body. Also honey. Also a, a stick from the bee. It's, it's a very good antidote. Yes, and they even get nano silver from aloes. You get nano silver from you get nano silver from bailey. You get nano silver from Christmas bush. Shining bush also you get nano silver from it. So apart 
of the whole convoy is following my tip and make sure this information being shared to any part of the world that you know anybody have any symptom whether it be problems such as a normal hemorrhagic fever or somebody having something like chicken unia, or the Ebola virus whatever that causing the body to hemorrhage you just remember that I have the medicine to help you and also give the information.